Hey, this is Aaron Wimberly with AETOOTS.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a look that is similar to the uh, Sherlock Holmes credits, and we're going to be using hand-drawn elements as well as some different textures and some matte elements, and of course we're going to be using After Effects. So let's take a look at the final product, what it'll look like. Alright, so we're going to open up After Effects, we're going to import all of the files that we need, which aren't all of these, uh, don't need those, so there we go, open, and uh, we're going to create a new composition, it's going to be 14 seconds long, it's going to be called the final comp, because it will be our final comp, 1280, 720 is fine, we're going to bring in the footage, and I know that where I want this is actually um, the end of it goes right there so we'll get it to there and I know I want it at 5 so that's the still shot I want it's gonna be right there so first what I'm gonna do is go to comp save frame as file I'm gonna save this as still frame I'm gonna save and render and then I'm going to import that. Let's see, still frame right there. Open. I'm going to bring that into the final comp. I'm going to put it on top, bring it to five right there. So now that's going to give it just like that. Okay, so first, what I'm going to do, we're going to uh, bring the hue and saturation to where it's going to be black and white. And then we're also going to do brightness contrast. And that's going to be not too bright. We want to keep it to where we can see the outline. Um, but whenever you're tracing it, it's going to be a lot easier to uh, see all the, you know, the outline whenever it's, um, the contrast is up quite a bit. So that's that. You're going to take this. You're going to save the frame. This one is going to be BW frame and save that and then render that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to print out that image and I'm going to trace around the character. Um, don't worry too much about the shadows. What you want to do is in the Sherlock Holmes uh, credits they did lines to make it look like newspapers. So that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. Do some lines around where the big traces are uh, like around the face and the nose and the ear and all that kind of stuff. And then for the uh, shadows, just do simple uh, lines right beside each other. And, um, and then what you're going to do is take that and you're going to scan it back in and then bring it into After Effects. All right, so now you're going to bring that trace into After Effects right there. And then you're going to create a new composition. This is going to be 14 seconds long. It's going to be called Trace. And you're going to bring that trace, um, I'm sorry, you're going to bring this trace right there. And you're going to bring this black and white photo. Let's duplicate that so we still have one in there. And then we're going to uh, cut and copy that to here. And you're going to size up the trace around the original image. All right, now once you've sized it up correctly, you're going to want to um, do a mask around both of these. So let's do that. And you're going to want to keep it kind of close, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so bring that other image up. We are going to put a linear burn on the traced image. That's going to give it to where you can see the image behind it. And then for this one, we're going to take the brightness and contrast, and we're going to make it to where that image is given the big shadows. So bring the contrast up quite a bit, just like that. And bring the brightness up some as well. And that will give us the look that we're going for. All right, next we're going to create the actual bleed effect. Um, so let's do new composition. If this is only going to be um, nine seconds long, and it's going to be called bleed. First we're going to do a background, so let's do a new solid, 
and that's going to be uh, white and let's call that BG for background then we're going to bring a texture and this texture is from psdtoots.com and uh, it's one of the free textures on their freebies page and we're gonna bring the size down to about right there we want the shadow because that's gonna be bringing the uh, the title the name out a little bit towards the end you'll see what I'm talking about now with this we want to do the same thing hue and saturation that we did with the um, the photo brightness contrast we're gonna bring the saturation down bring the brightness up contrast up quite a bit we want it about right there okay and then we're gonna make that bleed in so this is the first bleed we're gonna have and this is gonna be reveal one and we're gonna need a white background for this because we want it to stay the entire time so let's do a white solid you'll see what I'm talking about here if you put it behind there this goes from black and bleeds and then goes to white and so with that white background behind it it's gonna make it last the entire comp uh, so let's um, pre-compose that just like that and that's gonna be leak one and then we're going to set the mat for the paper and we're gonna do lightness make sure it's for leak one we're going to turn off that layer and so all we're gonna see is that right there and we're gonna bring that to um, right there and that's gonna start about one so it starts at a different time than that the main leak starts the main bleed alright and then next up we're actually gonna use that trace that we just did so let's bring the trace in and we're gonna duplicate that and this first one we're gonna take into here we're gonna take the eraser make sure the cursor um, right here is uh, at the very beginning um, and we're gonna erase around some of the main parts just like that to where it's just the face just like that we're gonna go back into the bleed comp as you can see it uh, does that right there so we're gonna get another reveal um, these reveals are from video copilot dot net and uh, their um, their program it ha it's called a uh, riot gear and it has a whole bunch of different stuff like this bleed and paint splatters and all that kind of stuff really cool alright and so let's bring that behind there let's pre-compose that let's call that leak 2 well and then this one is actually going to be leaking with that one so let's set the mat for the uh, for the trace that we did not erase anything from and it's going to be on leak 2 and it's going to be lightness and we're going to make that invisible and so that's going to bleed in just like that right there so uh, we're going to bring that in about 15 just like that alright so next up we want to do the paint splatters for the name so let's first let's put the name in there and I'm using a font called Angel Tears from defont.com and we're gonna you won't be able to see it yet but you'll be able to see it by the end of it so if we bring this down if you watch uh, this right here bleeds and you're able to see that but we want some paint splatter to show the rest of the name so we take uh, this one here and both of these as well let's just bring them all in let's do the same thing with all of them set mat lightness fill and we're gonna do a really dark gray I'm just copying the fill to both of the other paints this first one we want in the down in the the bottom corner and the other two are gonna reveal the name so let's bring these towards the end of the comp so we know exactly where they're gonna be going to reveal the name let's transform these rotate 
just like that. Rotate. Let's bring the name above it. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to do some blending modes with these paints. We're going to do linear burn in all of them. That'll make it look like it's actually on there. It'll bring the shadows out from the background. So that's that for the name. All right, now we're going to do a couple more things. We're going to bring in some uh, background elements. First, let's do a drop. Drop's going to come in. Same thing. Set matte. Fill color. We're going to make this a really dark brown. And we're going to make this a color burn. That way, it kind of looks like a coffee stain coming in. Just like that. Let's bring it up a little bit. We're going to do another one. To keep the entire thing making it look like it, it's moving, we're going to do a flow. Same thing, set matte and fill color. Like I said, I should just copy and paste the fill from the other one since it'll be the same color. And the same thing on this is going to be a color burn. We're actually going to bring this in around so it starts from the other side. So let's 180 that. Let's make sure our paint splatters are in the right place. We want these to make sure they last the entire time. Bring that to there. So at 4 and at 415, those start up. And then the other one starts at 6. That last paint splatter. There you go. So that is our bleed right there. Starts out just like that. Bleeds in. Everything comes in. Paint splatters in. Other paint splatters in. So there we go. That's our main bleed. All right. Now let's go back to our final comp that we had earlier. Let's take off these two effects from that. Let's bring in bleed. Let's make that at five where the actual still part starts. We're going to bring that to the back. We're going to pre-compose both of these so that uh, there won't be two layers. That's going to be final. Then we're going to do the last bleed which is going to be reveal a one. Bring that in. Do a new solid. Same thing that we did earlier. This is going to be leak three. We're going to bring that to the back. We're going to pre-compose these just like that. Don't really care about the name of that. Bring this to five. Then we're going to do the same thing. Set matte. For final lightness. But with this one, we're going to do pre-comp one, invert map. Then we're going to make that invisible. So what that does now is bleeds in. Now I also set a camera and a null object and I uh, pick up that and I make it to where this null object makes the camera zoom in on all the parts that I want it to zoom in on. So I know that at I know that at 9.15 that paint's going to start going. So I want to make sure it zooms in on that. So I'm going to zoom in, move it around a little bit. I have to complete control over it if I do it this way. And then I know at 13 and a half that paint's going to splatter. So I'm going to do the, the uh, camera for those. Make sure you don't go off the image at all. There's no black lines around the sides whenever you're moving around. All right, and so that's it. So let's uh, add this to render queue. All right, so let's take a look at the final product.
Now, in the actual credits of the Holmes movie, um, they had a lot less camera movement and a lot faster bleeds. But this is really just a basic tutorial to show you exactly how to do some of that kind of stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it will be beneficial to you. And uh, this has been Aaron Wimberly with AEToots.com.